Quiroga, and I am a queer undocumented immigrant from Lima, Peru, living here in New York City. I'm also an activist and organizer with Immigration Equality. And so when I first came out, um, I was more outed than came out. Um, my, one of my family members actually outed me to uh, my mom, and so I ran away. Um, home. I was homeless for about two and a half months. Uh, there's a lot of, when you're both queer and undocumented and you have to face the realities of like family rejection, of homelessness, of feeling like you have to hide not only from uh, everyone, the fact that you're undocumented, but also from like people who are supposed to be protecting you, like your family, like the police, because they, they might come back to your home and uh, um, deport your family, like uh, putting everything in jeopardy. And so I felt like there was no support system for me. Um, so my coming out process, there was a lot of traumas. Um, there had to be a lot of like moments of healing. There's two individuals in my life that really inspire me more than uh, um, anyone. And that's one, my mother, who uh, struggled to you know create a future for us here in the U.S. Um, against all odds, uh, being mo monolingual Spanish speakers, single mother, four children, and uh, not having any family or support system here in the United States, and starting a brand new life. Um, she she inspires me to know that no mountain is tall enough to climb. And she she's the one who inspires me every single day to know that. Um, whatever, like any types of struggles or any types of obstacles that are in my way, I can overcome them because uh, she's overcome a lot more than I ever have. And my little brother, um, he inspires the work I do essentially because he's uh, um, he was separated from my family nine years ago. Um, because of the heartbroken immigration system and he's also gay and so when he was sent back to Peru he faced a lot of harassment and uh, a lot of persecution from our own family um, as well as the community there and and so he inspires me to like support people here in the US who um, LGBTQ asylum seekers who are simply looking for a safe place to call home. When I came into contact with other individual activists who were my age and who were really outwardly unafraid and unapologetic about being undocumented, they really empowered me to feel like, you know, I don't need to be hiding in the shadows. I don't need to feel any type of shame based on the, the fact that my family came here to survive and to thrive. But they uh, um, showed me that that's a beautiful thing, that migration is a beautiful thing. They showed me that also that I came in contact with a lot of undocu queer activists who uh, taught me how to you know, tell my full story of self and taught me to be fully authentic to who I am and how that's really valued in the movement and how that contributes to the overall effort that we are trying to, uh, um, you know, to bring um, about with our community in regards to full equality for everyone and not just like certain segments of our community. For anyone who's in the coming out process of you know coming out as gay or coming out as undocumented, I'd say you know be proud of who you are. There's nothing to be ashamed about. You are a beautiful person and uh, society will change. With time um, we will receive the rights and dignity and respect that we all deserve.